Durko. Back in the more, fun. <laughs> more fun and games, eh? Durko making a return on the Wild Tracks channel. So we're back in the Gardens of Stone National Park. We have been here only uh, three weeks ago where we did our attempt to <laughs> conquer the crown which we haven't done yet so we have to come back for that but we're walking in the same area but a slightly different rock plateau a little bit more to the south and we're gonna do the McLean's Pass trail if I'm not mistaken but it's again first time that we're here so we have to figure out where it all starts and if it's all doable we're hoping not to have the same bush bash as we had a few weeks ago at this time vegetation is wet as well so that makes it a bit harder if we have to go to some dense vegetation otherwise weather is very much similar as the last time i think temperatures maybe around to five degrees celsius a little breeze here we go lead the way Durko. in you go into the scrub. This brings back memories. At least you made it 100 meters this time. <laughs> Just 100 meters from the main trail, and we already lost. My thumb was 50. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good. Up, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's hard with a 20 kilo The trail comes and disappears again. And this is one of those points where we don't see it. It is as good as the trail gets. There is Wally. There is Wally. I'm here. Hi. Wow. Hmm. It's the first time we have some proper views. Need to work out We're going to have a break here. It's time for pancakes. Oh. And rest. Is that for a minute? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, look at this. What have we baked, eh? Let's see what we have. Oh. Ooh. Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So Doug and I have figured that we're actually not on the route at the moment, so we have to backtrack about 50 meters or so. Mm. There's some sort of um, ridge that we want to follow. So we're traversing that ridge line now. A little bit more open here. Less of a bush bash. Where's that go? Going down one way. Yeah. You can't really go wrong with it. It's one big line, isn't it? So we estimated we're walking at a rate of, was it one kilometer an hour? That's 1.8 kilometers to here. 1.8 kilometers? To here, and it's uh, 10.30, so what? nearly two hours to here. So we walked 1.8 kilometers, just over a mile, in about two hours. We had a little break, it's slow going, but we don't have really a particular goal otherwise, other than finding the campsite and exploring this area. Oh, look at oh, this. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ho, ho. Look, at, cool. look at that. So Pantoni's crown in the far distance and look at this cliff formation
awesome. Nothing more shots, but. Man, how epic is this? Wow. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? I'm on the rock. Very close to it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so now we have to find a way through that gully there. There's a big gully or whatever in front of us. I can hear him, I can't see him. <laughs> I'm here in front of you. Oh, yeah. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> Closer than me. You found it yet? No, I think I'm standing on the trail, but you have to walk down and you can walk up this rock. I'm determined to find it now. Oh, look at this. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hello. Is it? Yeah, that's it there. Yeah? Shall we go there? Uh, yeah, we have to come back up again. Oh, we dropped the pack? Okay, so we're crossing, man, there's a kind of a canyon here and I think we are, were you standing? There's a track down here, in this valley here, between these rocks there's a track. Yeah? So we're looking for the trail, of at least for a way to get to this deep gully here. And we figured we have to go around this rock and then it seems to descend gradually into it. All the other options are steep and extremely slippery. All good. Oh. Yeah, there, so there we're going. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it brings us closer to the other side. Uh, and a landmark coming up. I think it's called the tunnel. A rock formation, and we think it is here in this little gully or small canyon. Well, you could, you could camp here, by the way. Oh. This is epic, eh? Hey? Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. There's a logbook here. There could have sign us in. I don't have my glasses. I can't read. Oh my gosh. You are described. scribe. I will be your eyes. Can't get the book out, sorry. Mark Godin, Goodson, NPA, Came returning again after 2 p.m. I reckon it is. Helen Migros, Migros. When's the last one? When's the last entry? Heidi David, David Lloyd, 27, 21, 4. 27, 4, 24. All right. Person. Wow. This uh, Derek Levert. Dirk Go. And Gerwin Jensen. And cool, here we go. Dirk and Gerwin. Lunch box.
definitely see where people. That's uh, not too bad. Eh? I think someone made, made an effort oh, yeah. of stacking, although it isn't much. You probably have to go up here. So the next obstacle is straight ahead of us, it looks like. It's kind of a gully that we have to walk up but it's quite steep and there's some moist. Easy way. <laughs> Is it all the way? Yeah you can huh? Yeah you can. So Dirk uh, is taking the easy way. Well uh, why not? So it's about good. halfway. Look that's where we came from. It is not too bad. We got some grip. That's where we're going. Another 50 meters. Woo. Wow. Big step inside. Yeah. Yeah, going back. I'll go your way. Now we're going up there. The wind is picking up. So this is where the official McLean's Pass ends. And now we have to find our way up to the plateau. Oh, look at the valley. Go there, go, go there, go. Work your mouth. Push, push. Dirk and I walked along that plateau, descended to the base of it and we walked out that way until we reached that fire trail, I'm not sure if it's visible on the GoPro. And then we turned left from our perspective back to the car. So the car was parked just behind this rock. Look at this view. Look at that, that's, like that's at least 100 meters straight down. Wow, eh? <laughs> Got a bit close to <laughs> me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's amazing. Dirk and I are blown away by the spectacular views and terrain in general. This is probably one of the best walks, if not the best walk, at least I have done in 
in New South Wales apart from the Buddha Wanks maybe. So we have been following a pass, a it's called the McLean Pass. But well, that ended about in three, four hundred meters ago when we just uh, climbed up this ridge. So it means from here on you have to navigate through it yourself. Although even when you follow the McLean Pass, it's not that straightforward. And there are a few more landmarks on our way. Eventually we should reach an area which is marked as a camp camp area, so that's where we're going to stay the night. We're probably not an hour and a half away from that point. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy this view. Feet together. <laughs> you. big tree. Unfortunately is dead. Hit a bit of a barrier here. We hear this gorge and we need to find a way down. But it's very steep. We haven't found anything yet that is reasonable to get down from. So we figured we may have to walk down the rock here. The dust slopes down all the way to the bottom of this valley. Yeah? Well, from top down it looks like the best way. So we're looking for a way down into this valley. It has been really steep, so we're now at the very end of it where the rock is sloping down. Hopefully that gets us there. And then we have to find a way up to the other side. Found ourselves again in the middle of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> very dark. Okay, I think we should go left here. Up there. Yeah, following the rock a bit. Yeah. Yeah, should go here. Uh, yes or uh, maybe? <laughs> uh. <laughs> so we're still looking to find a way up. We kind of on the other side of the canyon, but on the very tail end on the bottom of it. And oh. so we don't know if we can actually get up uh, from know. this direction we give it a go we actually have been working walking in a circle almost, oh. <laughs> almost. we came down that rock there and I was heading towards it that is a gorge and that's where we need to go well we haven't yet found what we're looking for <laughs> we're still looking for a way to get up there we can see in a hill here to my left 
and hopefully there's a more gradual ascent so here's a creek running it's the first running water we have seen in this park yeah, another attempt to cross this gorge and to find a way up Let's have a closer look. Let me say never. Is there any marks from people? Could be. Oh, there's it's another little platform there. See on the left. There's nothing just too high. It's not a cliff. It's like a, oh, a yeah. secondary kind of tier. Yeah. Maybe there's another option. Okay, let's check out the other one first. Let's see something there. Maybe it's follow the ridge line across, a cliff line. And just see if that is something. If it's a wheel like this, we can't go up. Well. Otherwise, we may have to follow this little creek up. Ah. Definitely a scramble. The wall, literally. It's quite a nice water feature here behind me, but. Time to explore. I think people should here. successful mission we we'll try again we're not out of the woods yet oh. <laughs> so we made it on the top but yeah where are we where are we really that's where we came from Yep, and there's uh, the nipple. Oh, shucks, we don't. No. Yeah, that's the nipple. I think so. Oh my god. So, this is what they call the pondage. It's basically your campground. But that was a an awful bush bash to get here. And we might have come. I wish. Oh, wow very likely have come the wrong way so tomorrow we have to do a bit of exploration a pondage eh? oh me too uh, that was hard work I wonder where we're going to get firewood though <laughs> where's all the firewood? <laughs> <laughs> it's 3 o'clock pm so we've got about one and a half hours of daylight left 6.99 kilometers 6? That's, that's 6.9 let's say in 7 kilometers 7 kilometers in 7 hours in 7 hours so yeah that's our average. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was that last hard work. So from the last time we had break, where we made those epic shots from the valley till here. Yeah, that was uh, a bush bash. I'm glad we found it, to be honest. It is an epic spot, eh, hey, Durko? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, have a look. There's a, a lot of firewood around, so that's easy. Bigger spot. On the rocks to come, okay? We may need to use some uh, sticks. Yeah, oh, it's pretty solid though. Yeah? I think the sand feels pretty um
Dirk is uh, erecting the Taj Mahal again. Taj Mahal, yep. Full of comfort. No mucking around here. <laughs> the 10 person tent. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dirk? Huh? How are you feeling? Cool. Yeah. Tired. Yeah, that was a big track. But good. Not in distance, but in effort. Always is. Uh... So here is my Wexot Exogen, fully staked out. Australia. So I'm gonna use the book to lit a fire. The first few pages I can do without those. So the Australian bush book says a positive mental outlook is the most valuable survival tool we carry into the wild places. Demonstrate that today. We use it a few times today <laughs> to push through the hard bits. Dan is organized. Oh, yeah. Nice. No, it's, it's good to have a bigger tent again. Dirk was organized. All place for ourselves. Mm hmm. Yeah, the wind just died off a bit. That's nice. Look at this feature. See the water. Well, there we go. Good. That was day one. How day was one. day one? Was it right? <laughs> it was tough as usual. So uh, day two should be just as much fun. Yeah. All we have to do uh, much of the same. Huh? Unfortunately, Let me go back. Yeah, but it'll be easy going. Hopefully, we can find a little more efficient, yeah. more direct route because we we made a few circles today. A lot of circles. <laughs> a lot of circles. But it is worth it. That's it. Look at this view. Woo. All right, we're gonna walk back to the swamp for Shrek lifts. We're gonna have some dinner. Yeah, and some fires, yeah. <laughs> Look, Durko going, man. Nothing is going to stop him. Nothing will stop me. Get that no, nice fire. Ah, uh, quick, I think. Pasta. Ah, pasta. The pasta on. Everyone needs their pasta. Okay. No water up here. Yeah. We need that for hot chocolate and cooking the world. Have to find some water. Ooh, we've got to have hey, we find some water tomorrow. 
Yeah, so oh, okay, yeah. over dessert uh, to Liège waffles. Yep. Yeah. Man, a whole cultural experience, man. <laughs> Dutch cookies, <laughs> Belgian waffles, and some Mexican coffee liquor. It's a bit similar to Bailey's, but just not as creamy. Oh, <laughs> 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 